Hello and welcome to Only Connect, the quiz that's more fiendish than a Panini sticker album of history's greatest villains. Speaking of which, if anyone wants to do a swap, I've got three Caligulas and two Genghis Khans. I only need Thomas from Downton Abbey for the set. So drop me a line if you can help with that. And in the meantime, let's meet the teams. On my right, Mick Hodgkin, a journalist with a BA in politics and philosophy, who writes a limerick a day and used to work as a garden labourer at the British Army base in West Berlin. John Tozer, a data scientist who made a memorable speech at Colin Dexter's 80th birthday party. And their captain, Richard Heald, a native Yorkshireman who has bottle-fed a sheep in Britain's highest pub. They all write clues for various crosswords. They are the clue smiths. You won your first heat against the operational researchers. How did you celebrate that victory? Well, having been to the uh, highest pub in England, we decided to try and find the lowest dive in Wales. I don't remember you coming to my dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find it, you think? Uh, we've got a few more to try. OK, enjoy yourselves. Thank First you. of all, you'll be playing a quiz against on my left. Jack Johannes Alexander, a math student from Hartford who's a fan of trip-hop music and Hull City FC. Joe Crowther a maths and philosophy student with an interest in Japanese music who lost his cap on a windy day in Cornwall. And their captain, Alistair Middleton, a keen rugby player who plays the guitar and recently witnessed a giraffe kicking a rhino in the face. All students at York University with a soft spot for sums, they are the Yorkers. You won your first game against the polyglots. How have you been preparing for the game ahead? Um, we've been pumping iron and eating large quantities of meat. Excellent. That would be a first on this yeah. show, but still awake, so that's good yeah. to see. OK, let's get on with this quiz. Both these teams have already won a match, so nobody's going home. They are shooting for a direct route into the quarterfinals. Clue Smiths, you won the toss. You'll be going first. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Lion, please. Lion. I simply want to know what is the connection between these clues. Here's the first. Uh, next, please. Does that feature a crooked house in it? No. Does it feature a crooked man? He's a crooked man. Okay. One more. Yeah. Next. Was there a crooked man in there? Next, please. Seconds. The beach. Not the answer, I'm afraid. So there's a bonus opportunity for the Yorkers. Is the answer cubes? It's not. You are close because it's sort of like that, but it's very specifically the word tesseract. That Alex Garland novel is called the Tesseract. That is an item sought by the Avengers. The Dali crucifixion that depicts the cross as a tesseract. And he built a crooked house, a science fiction short story in which an architect builds a tesseract house. So the first two very much on cues, but it's really a name in the next two. Tesseract, the specific thing. So no points there. Yorkers, your turn to choose a question. Uh, can we have the twisted flux, please? Yes, you can. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Uh, next. Is that an old name for, for York? Next. Oh, is it old names for capitals? Because Christiana was Oslo, wasn't it? It could be old names. But is it different or capitals? Was it all Oslo? Yeah, yeah. It could be. Do you want to get the last? Take, yeah, take okay. uh, Next. Mm. Oh, no, are, are they micro stuff? Yeah. yeah. Are they all microstates? Microstates or micronations? That's exactly what they are. What can you tell me about the clues you're looking at? Um, well, I think Sealand was a, an old World War II uh, sea fort that someone bought and like proclaimed as his own nation. The rest... It's just off East Anglia. Yes, yeah. it's a, a tiny. It's, it's got a football team though, apparently. <laughs> tiny little nation. I think they've played a few matches. Um, the rest, I don't know. You don't. Seaborga. It's on the Italian Riviera, or rather, it isn't, because a chap called Giorgio Carbone found that it was older than the rest of Italy and not part of it. So he oh, declared okay. its independence. He's king, <laughs> and he doesn't take a salary, but he insists on free ham and cheese oh, for, right. uh, <laughs> for being king. Forvik. Yes, you're muttering about your as Jorvik. Yeah, yeah. Forvik is uh, it's the Shetland Islands, or rather it's not. It's independent of the Shetland Islands. And Christiania is a sort of 
Danish hippie commune that uh, the government of Denmark recognises as a social experiment. Oh, yeah. I think I had a radio show about it once, actually. It's... You might well have done, yes, yeah. independently of Denmark. It's a, a sort of hippie place, but that's right, they're all micro-nations. Well done. Clue Smiths, what would you like? Horned Viper, please. The Horned Viper. What is the connection between these clues? They're going to be pictures, picture question. Here's the first. Next. Next, please. Is it all about carpentry or something? No. I think, um, Axe. Chippy budgie. Next. Chopper. 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 Yeah, the tools. axes. Tools and tools. Are they all tools? They are not tools. So a bonus chance for you, Yorkers. Uh, are they nicknames of American sports teams? That's not it either. They're sort of tools in a way. Tools of transport. They're bicycles. Rally bicycles. We're looking at chippy Budgie, Tomahawk and Chopper. It's old children's rally bicycles. So again, no points. Yorkers, back to you for a choice. Uh, can we have two reads, please? Yes, you can. Ah, it's the music question. You'll be hearing the clues. I want to know what they've got in common. Here's the first. Sounds like... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's... it's uh, go next. Uh, next. It's always going to cover. I can't explain. Dara. First one is uh, uh, next. Mm -hmm. This is how uh, I find it. So next. 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 With help in. Oh, They're all covers of songs with help in. They are not all covers of songs with help in, so Clue Smiths, your chance for a bonus point. Are they all comic relief singles? They are comic relief songs. What did you recognise? Uh, the Stonk by Hail and Pace. That's right. Um, Help by Banana Rama Nana Nunu or something like That's that. That's it. There is one of them is a cover of something with help in the title. The Beatles' help is covered by Lana Nini Nunu, which was Banana Rama with French and Saunders and Kathy Burke. Uh, not sure about the other two. But there were, <laughs> my favourite, the second one, it was a cover of uh, Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers' Islands in the Stream. Oh, Barry Islands in the Stream. <laughs> uh, Tom Jones and Robin Gibb and uh, uh, various people doing the cover of that. And the first one, When the Going Gets Tough, just a boy's own cover of... Billy Ocean, all comic relief songs. So you get the bonus point and the chance to choose a question. Water, please. Water. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Uh, next, please. Oh. They are methods of choosing numbers in the countdown numbers game. <laughs> Coming in after two <laughs> clues, you get three points. You didn't need to see one large, five small, or one from the top and any other five. Yes, it's ways in which the numbers can be selected in countdown. You countdown fans? Um, I was on it uh, quite a while ago. How did you get on? Um, I was the last Doctor champ of the uh, Richard Whiteley era. Oh, wow, the great uh, golden yeah. age. Yeah. Very good series count. And not the best quiz, obviously, not the best quiz, but uh, a good one nonetheless. Well spotted number selections. So that leaves one question for you, Yorkers. That's the Eye of Horus. That's what you'll be getting. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next. Why is that? Eel, eel, bear. Yeah, they're animals. The first part, so it's bear, and then the next one is it's eel. From from the capitalised letter. Yeah, that makes well, sense. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to be anything else, is it? Um, they're uh, names of animals uh, within the names of other animals. Can you be any more specific? The capital letter is the start of the name of an animal, so we have a bear and then we have an eel in the second one. Well, it all... is, I'll take it. It's specifically, it's, they're dogs that, that dogs, contain yeah. the names of other animals. You didn't need to see Basset, Hound and Beagle. Oh, sorry, you yeah. also get three points for coming in after two clues. Animals oh. hidden in dogs' names. Well done. 
That means at the end of round one, the Yorkers have four points, the Clue Smiths have four points. <laughs> On to the sequences round now and what comes forth in a sequence. Clue Smiths, you'll be going first again. Which hieroglyph would you like? Uh, twisted Flax, please. The Twisted Flax. You'll be seeing the first of a sequence. I want to know what will come forth. Time starts now. Next. Shall we get one more? Next. Luigi. OK, we'll one. Is it Luigi? That is not the right answer, so a bonus opportunity for you Yorkers. I can't give you long. Uh, we, someone whose uh, symbol is a backward sigma. Well, why would that be? Well, Wario is a W and Mario's an M, and I thought maybe Captain Syrup was a Sigma. Oh, I see. No, that's not it. That wouldn't be a sequence. No, it's no, simply yeah. video game characters and the video game they came from. So I wanted to hear Donkey Kong. Captain Syrup oh, yeah. is a spin-off character from the game Wario, oh, who comes yeah. from Mario, and Mario, of course, from Donkey Kong, the character from there. So it's a series of video games, one from another, going back to the original Donkey Kong. So, no bonus point, Yorkers, but you may choose a question. Uh, lion. Lion. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Uh, next. Silent Dark Square. Odysseus spent seven years. Uh, on his way home. Yeah. Uh, next. It could be Circe's Island, maybe. What is it, places that he stops off? I think so, yeah, during... Oh, it's 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 it could be, so... No, if that's on his way home, maybe it's Ithaca. But I'm saying Ithaca. Right, like, yeah. Ithaca? Odysseus is on his way home. It is indeed Ithaca. Yes, land falls in Homer's Odyssey. You recognise that it was places that uh, Odysseus was visiting? Yeah, uh, I recognise it from Calypso's Island. Uh, do you know the, the name of Calypso's Island? Uh, no. It's Agigia. <laughs> the Island of the Phaeacians is Scyria and Island of the Sun, Thrinacea. They are places visited by Odysseus on the way home, his ultimate destination, Ithaca. Well done, and over to you, Cluesmiths, to choose a question. Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Uh, next. So, next, please. St. Charles Napier. Oh, um, oh. was it Governors of India or something? No. Um, any ideas for that? Mm -hmm. well, different, uh, different parts of the UK, are they? Uh, 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 I mean, it's either just people have got Three statues. seconds. I think he was a Governor of India, wasn't he? That's it. The time is up. So a bonus chance again for you Yorkers. Is it nothing? Or, like, an empty plinth? Nothing is one of the acceptable answers. We went with giant blue cock. But why? Yeah. Okay. Why could you have that or nothing? Um, these are the plinths in Trafalgar Square. That's right. It's the plinths in Trafalgar order. Square and we're going clockwise. So George IV, Henry Havelock, Charles Napier. Next is the fourth plinth. It's had all sorts of artworks on there. Alison Lapper. Sometimes a riderless horse, sometimes nothing at all. So that is an acceptable answer for a bonus point. And it's your turn. Um, the water, please. Water. What would be the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Uh, next. No, I mean, in the dollar cluster. Because you only get... Do you don't get a two. One cent? I don't think you get a two. So it should be one. I think so, yeah. yeah. I don't, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'll go for it. Um, dollar zero point zero one. 
euro 0.01 and pound 0.01. That is the right answer. And why? Can you explain this sequence? Um, it's the, the, the oh, lowest yeah. weights, well, the lowest for value coins in those particular currencies. Okay. That's right. It's US dollars, euros and sterling and yeah. we're looking at the four lowest value Sorry. coins, so 0.25 of a dollar the quarter, 0 0.1 of euro, 0 0.1 of a pound and the smallest would be one cent, one cent, one p. Well done. Back to you, Clue Smiths, what would you like? Two reads, please. Two reads. What would be the fourth in this sequence? They are picture clues, so I want to know what sort of thing you'd see in the fourth picture. Here's the first. Next. I've bat. I've bat. Newt and something of cat. I have. I have newt, isn't it? I have newt. Wool of bat and. I have newt. I think it's Ice Cube. We're going backwards to the beginning. I think it's Ice Cube. I have Newt. Is it I have Newt? Yes, it is I have Newt coming in after two clues. You get three points. What are we looking at? It's from Macbeth, the witch is brewing a potion. I have Newt, toe of frog, wool of bat, tongue of dog. That's exactly right. We're going backwards. So the full spell, eye of newt and toe of frog, wool of bat and tongue of dog, adder's fork and blind worm sting, lizard's leg and howlet's wing, for a charm of powerful trouble, like a hell broth boil and bubble. Unfortunately for you, that is a very dangerous thing to say before the connecting wall. <laughs> Anything could happen now. Very well done. Eye of newt would have been the fourth or first clue there. So one question remains. Yorkers, it's the horned viper. And I can tell you it is going to be a music sequence. So I want to know, ideally sung if possible, what you would hear in fourth place. Here's the first. Next. Something by the four tops. I will accept something from the four tops we heard from A1, two unlimited. You didn't need to hear from the three tenors because you knew it would be something with four. You've gone with the four tops. We don't have that piece of music, obviously, so perhaps you'd like to... Indulge us with a snatch of song. One, two, three, four. I'll be there. Very good. I'm absolutely won over. Well done. I will certainly give you three points for that. <laughs> Meaning at the end of round two, the Cluesmiths have seven points, the Yorkers have 13. <laughs> Connecting wall time now, and it's the Yorkers' turn to go first, so you have a choice, lion or water. Uh, come the lion wall. The lion wall. Two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Ladybird. Things said differently in American than in. Um, oh, Ladybird. What is this? We've got characters no, in all the twist. Yeah, yeah. Twists. yeah Sykes. And, Mimi? Uh, why not? Braves. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Do you want to cycle that? Yeah, yeah sure. oh, um, Ladybird's also the nickname of a first lady, isn't it? Is it? Uh, yeah, yes, that's what I'm saying. Nancy Reagan, Lady Bird, John Michelin, John Obama, Mamie. Mamie, yeah. Okay. So, um, so, fading yeah. water. Is Rose Mamie one, maybe? Yeah, it could be. Mud? Mud yeah. could be, yeah. Uh, Salberry? That could be, yeah. Could be, yeah. Um, the sun. Things with spots. Sun, like a blobby. Yeah. Um, Die? Die. Yeah. Yeah. Three right. strikes and you're out now. So we've got all the characters in Oliver. So Fagin, uh, Oliver. Probably Sykes. not Oliver. Oh, well, well, I don't know. Yeah, so Fagin so and Sykes, 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 definitely. Asparagus. What are the bits of Spears. Spears. Yeah. Um, I was trying to think of something in the words, but I can't see anything. Uh, Matt, is Matt Black spelled like that? Is it two T's? Who's got a black? No, as in, like, just the colour. Oh, no, I think it's two T's. OK. Yeah. Um, so... So, who's the other? Sourberry? That sounds like it could be a dick of his yeah. character. Which one do you want to try? Sourberry, Fagin, Sykes, and... Have we tried that with Oliver? 
<laughs> they have names of films in them. Because we got Oliver, Kez, Salt. Names of birds that maybe. There's no Gus, isn't that type of thing? Uh, no. I should try. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, that's it. You've sold the ball, so that is four points. What about the connections? The first blue group starting Nancy. Uh, they all the first, first names ladies. of American first ladies. That's right, first ladies Nancy Reagan, Michelle Obama, Lady Bird Johnson, and Mamie Eisenhower. The green group starting Mr. Blobby. Things with spots. They all have spots Mr. Blobby, a die, the sun, and a leopard. And the purple group starting Fagin. Uh, the characters in Oliver Twist. Those are the characters from Oliver Twist by Dickens. And the last group starting Matt. Biscuits. They are not. A Bath Oliver is a biscuit, but what yeah. about a Bath Matt, Bath Salts and Bath Asparagus? Not all biscuits, but you can put Bath before all of them. So four points for the groups you found and three points for the connections. That's a total of seven. Let's bring back the Cluesmiths and give them a new connecting wall and see if they can solve it via similar methods. It'll be the water wall for you, Cluesmiths, because we've had the line. You have two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. Photo shoot, photo album, photo booth, and ram, shoot, pound, 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 hammer, and drum, and beat. Pound, yes, they yeah. do. Photo finish, photo album, photo booth, photo shoot. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Wow, you've solved the wall. Now you're going to get four points immediately for the groups. We'll talk about the connections, starting with the dark blue group, Sax. Berkeley or Barclay, Cribbins, Clees. They're actors in Faulty Towers. Now they are, and we need to discuss this. We mm. had two red herrings for that group, Booth and Scales, Connie Booth, mm. Prunella Scales, and yet you found <laughs> those four in seconds. <laughs> I mean, Ballard Berkeley played the major, of course, not the biggest yeah. character. Bernard Cribbins was only in one episode. <laughs> <laughs> what an episode, though. Yeah. Great episode. I mean, are you a big Faulty Towers fiend? Uh, a little bit, yeah, a little bit. You weren't at all tempted to go with Scales or Booth? No, no. no. Obvious, they, they, they like obvious they Scales or like Red Herring. <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to be held up for whole minutes on that. Yes. Bizarre. Now, what about the green group? Archer, Bull, Virgin, Scales. They're all signs of the Zodiac. Signs of the Zodiac. You took longer on that. Not, not big astrology fans. <laughs> no, tend to ignore it. You didn't check your horoscope this morning, see how yeah. you'd fare in the quiz? He's a typical Leo. No. Yeah. <laughs> typical Leo. <laughs> Sceptic. <laughs> right. Yes. And the purple group, Booth, Shoot, Finish, Album. They all follow photo. You can put photo before all of them. Photo booth, photo shoot, photo finish, photo album. And the last light blue group, Hammer, Drum, Pound, Ram. They all mean beat or thump or... That's right, they're synonyms for each other and for driving something into something else forcefully. So, four points for the groups you found, four points for the connections. I will give you a bonus of two points for getting it all right. That's the maximum of ten. Very well done. Let's have a look at the scores going into the final round. The Smiths have 17 points, the Yorkers have 20. See us caught up a bit thanks to that maximum point wall. I'll tell you where they fell down, see if you could have done this one. Oliver salts Matt asparagus. Bath. Can you have bath, bath asparagus? That's it. You can put bath in front <laughs> of never all come of them. Bath asparagus. But... It's all. It depends <laughs> what you know. Could you have done? Who's Berkeley or Barkley in the group? Cleese, Sachs, Cribbins, Berkeley. Uh, is it? It must be someone in Faulty Towers. Ballard, Berkeley, the major. The major, yeah. Well, there you go. So, because sometimes we wonder if you got each other's walls, how it would have been, but. Yeah. Perhaps much the same, but it's close now. It will be decided by round four, the missing bowels round. This is the one you will remember, teams, happily or sadly, depends on your skill at it. It's the one where we take well-known names, phrases and sayings, take out the vowels and then respace the consonants, and I want to know what the disguised clues are. Of course, if you get anything wrong, even a single letter, you will lose a point, so be very careful. The clues will still come in connected groups of four, but I'll tell you the connections up front. 
So fingers on buzzers, teams. The first group are all common words in English and French. For example, welcome and bienvenue. Yorkers? Hello and bonjour. Correct. Smiths? Dog and chien. Correct. Smiths? Yes and we. Oui. We, oui, that is correct. Smiths? No and non. We, oui, that's also correct. Next category, things that can be found on feet. Yorkers? Socks. Socks. Simple as that. Smiths? Espadrilles. Yes, it is. Yorkers? Athlete's foot. Lovely. Smiths? Bunions. And bunions. Next category, films from Pixar. Smiths? Cars. Correct. Yorkers? Wally. Correct. Yorkers? Ratatouille. Yes, it is. Yorkers? Up, up. Yes, it is. Next category, celebrity authors of children's books. Clue Smiths? David Williams. Correct. Yorkers? Ricky Gervais. Correct. Yorkers? Jerry Hallowell. Yes, it is. Yorkers. Madonna. She's written one as well. Next category, collectible card games. Yorkers. Magic the Gathering. Correct. Yorkers. Yu-Gi-Oh. Correct. Smiths. No time to give me the answer. Card Fight Vanguard, which is what that would have been. I was just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> very good round four. Very strong on the Pixar films over there. Yeah. yeah but I suppose yeah, well, you're... We've grown up with them. ...just so. of an age to have only just stopped watching them, really, or perhaps haven't at all. No, no, no. definitely not. I like the way you gave many of the answers in unison, like, uh, like Gladys Knight <laughs> and the Pips. Fabulous. At the end of the game, finishing as the winners with 31 points and straight through to the quarterfinals, it's the Yorkers. In second place with a valiant 24 points, it's the Clue Smiths. Well done. Sorry you didn't win, but you are not out, of course. You'll get another chance to win through to the quarterfinals later in the series. Yorkers, you are straight through with a pink ticket straight in. So well done to you as well. Thank you for watching. Please join me next time for another episode of the quiz that's like ice cream straight from the freezer. At first impenetrable, but once you get into it, a real treat. And then you find it's given you a terrible headache. Goodbye. <laughs>
Well, having been to the uh, highest pub in England, we decided to try and find the lowest dive in Wales. I don't remember you coming to my dressing room. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find it, you think? Uh, we've got a few more to try. OK, enjoy yourselves. Thank First you. of all, you'll be playing a quiz against on my left. Jack Johannes Alexander, a math student from Hartford who's a fan of trip-hop music and Hull City FC. Joe Crowther, a maths and philosophy student with an interest in Japanese music who lost his cap on a windy day in Cornwall. And their captain, Alistair Middleton, a keen rugby player who plays the guitar and recently witnessed a giraffe kicking a rhino in the face. All students at York University with a soft spot for sums, they are the Yorkers. You won your first game against the Polyglots. How have you been preparing for the game ahead? Um, we've been pumping iron and eating large quantities of meat. Excellent. That would be a oh. first on this yeah. show. <laughs> but still awake, so that's good yeah. to see. OK, let's get on with this quiz. Both these teams have already won a match, so nobody's going home. They are shooting for a direct route into the quarterfinals. Clue Smiths, you won the toss. You'll be going first. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Lion, please. Lion. I simply want to know what is the connection between these clues. Here's the first. Uh, next, please. Does that feature a crooked house in it? No. Does it feature a crooked man? He's a crooked man. Show one more. Yeah. Next. Did they have a, was there a crooked man in that? Next, please. Three seconds. The beach. Not the answer, I'm afraid. So there's a bonus opportunity for the Orcas. Is the answer cubes? It's not. You are close, because it's sort of like that, but it's very specifically the word tesseract. That Alex Garland novel is called The Tesseract. That is an item sought by the Avengers. The Dali crucifixion that depicts the cross as a tesseract. And he built a crooked house, a science fiction short story in which an architect builds a tesseract house. So the first two very much on cues, but it's really a name in the next two. Tesseract, the specific thing. So no points there. Yorkers, your turn to choose a question. Uh, can we have the twisted flux, please? Yes, you can. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Uh, next. Is that an old name for, for York? Next. Oh, is it old names for capitals? Because Christiana was Oslo, wasn't it? It could be old names. But is it different to capitals or is it all Oslo? It could be. Do you want to get the last one? Yeah, take the Next. Oh, no, are they, they microstates? Yeah. yeah that's it. Are they all microstates? Microstates or micronations? That's exactly what they are. What can you tell me about the clues you're looking at? Um, well, I think Sealand was a, an old World War II uh, sea fort that someone bought and like proclaimed as his own nation. The rest... It's just off East Anglia. Yes, yeah. it's a, a tiny. It's, it's got a football team though. Apparently, <laughs> tiny little nation. <laughs> I think they've played a few matches. Um, the rest, I don't know. You don't know. Seaborga, It's on the Italian Riviera, or rather, it isn't, because a chap called Giorgio Carbone found that it was older than the rest of Italy and not part of it. So he oh, declared okay. its independence. He's king, <laughs> and he doesn't take a salary, but he insists on free ham and cheese oh, for, right. uh, <laughs> for being king. Forvik. Yes, you're muttering about York. That's Jorvik. Yeah, yeah. Forvik is uh, it's the Shetland Islands, or rather it's not. It's independent of the Shetland Islands. And Christiania is a sort of Danish hippie commune that um, uh, the government of Denmark recognises as a social this. experiment. Oh, yeah. I think I had a radio show about it once, actually. It's... You might well have done, yes. Yeah. Independently of Denmark, it's a, a sort of hippie place. But that's right, they're all micronations. Well done. Clue Smiths, what would you like? Horned Viper, please. The Horned Viper. What is the connection between these clues? They're going to be pictures. Picture question. Here's the first. Next. One more. What are they? Next, please. Is it all about carpentry or something? No. Are they, um, Pax, chip, 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 chip. 
Next. Are they all tools? They are not tools. So a bonus chance for you, Yorkers. Uh, are they nicknames of American sports teams? That's not it either. They're sort of tools in a way, tools of transport. They're bicycles, rally bicycles. We're looking at Chippy, Budgie, Tomahawk and Chopper. So old children's rally bicycles. So again, no points. Yorkers, back to you for a choice. Uh, can we have two reads, please? Yes, you can. Ah, it's the music question. You'll be hearing the clues. I want to know what they've got in common. Here's the first. It's, uh, it's, uh, go now. Uh, next. It's always going to be covered. Uh, next. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The first one the ocean is covered. Mm -hmm. So Next. Three seconds. Covers of songs with help in. They're all covers of songs with help in. They are not all covers of songs with help in. So, Clue Smiths, your chance for a bonus point. Are they all comic relief singles? They are comic relief songs. What did you recognise? Uh, the Stonk by Hale and Pace. That's right. Um, Help by Banana Rama Nana Nunu or something like That's that. That's it. There is one of them is a cover of something with help in the title. The Beatles' help is covered by Lana Nini Nunu, which was Banana Rama with French and Saunders and Kathy Burke. Uh, not sure about the other two. But there were, <laughs> my favourite, the second one, it was a cover of uh, Dolly Parton and Kenny Rogers' Islands in the Stream. Oh, Barry Islands in the Stream. <laughs> uh, Tom Jones and Robin Gibb and uh, uh, various people doing the cover of that. And the first one, When the Going Gets Tough, just a boy's own cover of... Billy Ocean, all comic relief songs. So you get the bonus point and the chance to choose a question. Water, please. Water. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Whitehall. Whitehall. 